But before I tell you how to get rid of them, you must know what causes the blackhead. Blackheads are a result of the opening of the hair follicle in your skin getting clogged. The produced oil is called sebum and it plays a major role in keeping your skin soft, hydrated and supple. We all shed dead skin cells when these dead skin cells and oils are gathered together at the opening of the follicle it produces a little bump called a comedone or a blackhead the exposure to the air causes to oxidize and turn the sebum the oil black now that you have an understanding what a blackhead is and i will list several natural remedies to take care of them before you head to an esthetician or dermatologist, you can try some of these uh, home remedies. If you still see no change or no help, it would be better, best to get some professional advice. So very quickly, if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Maria and welcome to Aglaia Aesthetics Online. I am an aesthetics instructor, a master esthetician, an examiner for many years. I've seen a lot of things that come and go and things that work and things that do not work. I have an online aesthetics training for individuals that want to become certified estheticians. Give me comments below, love to connect with you. So let's get started. What can we do at home to reduce and regulate the production of sebum and of course the comedones? Number one, wash with a gentle cleanser once a day. If your skin is really oily, maybe twice a day. Resist the temptation to use scrubs or very harsh scrubs on your blackheads. It will overly strip your skin of moisture which actually can trigger the overproduction of sebum and further exacerbate the uh, problem. Use cleansers that contain glycolic acid which clears out, out the pore. Glycolic acids and salicylic acid with glycerin and sorbitol, they act as a humectant and help your skin retain moisture. I mentioned to wash only once a day is because the more you wash, the more you strip your skin and the more the sebaceous gland will produce the sebum and you will feel really oily. So try to hold off in washing your skin too often. Number two, steam your face. Before you attempt to extract your blackhead at home, it is crucial to loosen and to soften the debris trapped in the pores with some heat before you go and try to remove that blackhead. A face steamer that you can buy, not too expensive. It is a great way of doing this. But if you don't have a steamer, then there's another way you can do it. Steaming will help to soften the pore and so you can remove all that gunk. So get a, a big bowl, put some hot boiling water in the bowl. Now you can sit in front of it, but what I advise you is to put some aromatherapy such as tea tree oil or a, a lavender oil, which are very soothing and antiseptic. Then get a big towel and put your face in front of this bowl and cover your face so, you will, so the steam does not es escape. And do this for at least 10 minutes. I personally prefer using my fingers and to apply a little gentle pressure to extract the impurities. If you're extracting your impurities with your fingers, you need to be very, very gentle. Start with very clean hands, disinfect your hands, and remember how to place your fingers and do not go too close. Because if you go too close, you're actually pushing the blackhead in. Never, I mean never, remove the blackhead like this with your, your fingers. You want to cover your fingers with a Kleenex and I'm going to show you here. So you got to get a little Kleenex and you cover your fingertip. Okay, like this. Very good. And uh, while you are squeezing, you need to somewhat relocate your fingers that you're not in one, on one spot and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze because otherwise you're gonna cause problems. So the first position that I like to do is uh, a three o'clock and nine o'clock, okay? And then you do a little bit of a wiggle. Now, if it doesn't come out, then try five o'clock and 10 o'clock 
with the same blanket and do a little bit of a wiggle. And if it doesn't still come out, try two o'clock and seven o'clock and do the same thing. My general rule is three strikes and you're out. If it doesn't come out after three tries, don't do it any longer or you will risk damaging your skin or potentially breaking some capillaries. If it's not coming out, that means it's not time to remove it or you did not steam your skin long enough, you just have to come back another day. Once you're done, you need to disinfect the area. You can use some tea tree oil with a Q-tip on the area or using a high frequency device and I have a tutorial and the link is below to complete the procedure. Then use a soothing balancing mask or a nice cube if you don't have a mask on your face to prevent inflammation and to tighten the pores. After that is done, a light moisturizer on your skin. Number three, for me, no, is a comedone extractor. An extractor tool is usually used by estheticians, so an esthetician that has a lot of experience or dermatologist. However, if it's used incorrectly, it could cause damage to the dermis, damage to your fibers like the collagen and elastin, and also could cause breaking capillaries and bruising. However, if you want to use it, must be done very carefully. You need to apply slow and even pressure. The loop face down onto the pore that needs to be clearing. Make a gentle sweep motion to remove the plug from the pore. Do not overdo it. Again, number four, exfoliate regularly. For exfoliation, opt for acids. I much prefer chemical exfoliants to physical ones, which means turning to a chemical peel such as alpha hydroxy acid versus a scrub. Scrub can cause micro tears in your skin. Keep a lookout for ingredients, AHAs such as glycolic acid, BHAs such as salicylic acid work well to exfoliate the skin. However, BHA penetrates deeper into the skin and have both antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. So they are good for treating blemishes in acne prone skin. And the AHAs is better for drier skin, dry and mature skin. Exfoliants can help rid of the skin of the blackhead causing sebum product buildup. But because they can also strip the skin of moisture, do not use them too often. Use them maybe once a week max. Number five, make sure to moisturize. Even though oil is a contributor to blackheads, avoiding it altogether will only backfire. In fact, keeping your skin's oil level balance versus no existent is the key to minimize blackheads. So basically, if you're not having any oils and you keep on washing your skin, you're stripping your, your layer of oil, the sebaceous gland will produce more oils, more oils, more blackheads. So you need to keep things very balanced. Make sure you maintain a normal flow of oil from your pores by keeping your skin moisture level balanced. Try a moisturizer with squalene oil, may be involved in a function of the skin barrier or a moisturizer with the NRF2 activator, which serve as an emollient, but is a non-comedogenic, is the best of both worlds. The skin barrier is the top layer of the skin that helps to prevent water loss and act as a barrier to allergens and uh, bacteria. I have an amazing tutorial on that subject. I will put it in the description box. Number six, apply a topical retinol or retinoid in the area. Very thin layer applied at bedtime only on the blackhead area where you have blackheads. 
can help to exfoliate your skin, unclog the pores, reduce oiliness, and remove and prevent small blackheads and also those milia. Do not overuse it. It can cause damage to your skin barrier. So be very careful. Number seven, try some gadgets. If your fingers aren't enough to safely extract the uh, blackhead, there are a few tools that would make it easier, uh, such as the skin spatula, that it vibrates to excavate the buildup in your pore. There is another one which is a pore vacuum or black vacuum. I would not use it which literally sucks the debris out, out of your skin. But it's worth doing some research before using one since sometimes they can be too strong and uh, can cause harm, such as bruising. I recommend staying away from it unless you are using the suction really low, in the gentle mode, prepare your skin good before you use it, like steaming your skin, because you don't want to cause any trauma on your skin. Number eight, use vitamin C, which actually be incredibly powerful for clearing blackheads. As I mentioned before, a blackhead is simply oil that uh, has been oxidized from the air. So this oxidation is what causes the blackhead to turn black. To fight this process and keep the oil from oxidizing quickly, use an antioxidant like a vitamin C. My favorite is rosehip. I have a link below. Number nine, niacinamide has been found to increase the antioxidant capacity of the skin. Antioxidants work to rebalance the level of free radical in the skin. Free radicals are the byproduct of normal process in the body and in the skin, such as oxidative stress. However, when there is an imbalance in the level of free radicals in the body, they can cause damage to the cells. This damage has been linked with signs of aging. So you need to take care of the inside by taking supplements that, are, that have the NRF2 activators. So NRF2 activators on the outside and NRF2 activators in the inside for healthy skin. Number 10, baking soda is a pretty handy remedy for not only fighting acne, but also lightening blemishes as well. You can easily make this remedy at home. Mix a tablespoon of baking soda and two tablespoons of water. Apply the paste over the blackheads and over the acne if you have any. Leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now before you wash it off, wet your hands and massage the area that you have black. Do not massage it on the, on the blemish because if you do, it will irritate the blemish. Baking soda acts as a natural exfoliator. It is also an antibacterial which reduces the possibilities of irritation and infection. Also, it softens the, the comedones before the removal. So do this first, then you do the steaming, and then the extraction. Number 11, green tea. Since it's rich in antioxidants, apply green tea to your face, um, which helps to get rid of impurities, inflammation, and blackheads. To make a thick paste, you can mix a tablespoon of dry uh, green tea leaves and uh, water. Make it like a little paste, apply it onto the acne area or on the blackheads, leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes and then rinse it off with warm water. Number 12, egg whites. So take uh, an egg white and mix it, one tablespoon of organic honey, Mix it and make it like a nice little concoction. Apply onto your face and allow it to dry. A face towel, apply onto the, your skin with warm water. 
uh, remove it gently, especially if you have blemishes. You will notice your face glowing and blackhead free. Number 13, tomatoes. You need only one ingredient, a ripe tomato. Make a pulp out of the tomato and apply onto the acne affected area, your blackheads, and leave it on for 30 minutes. And if you have time, even 60 minutes, and then rinse it with warm water. Tomatoes dry up blackheads owing to their antibacterial properties. They also act as an exfoliator. The acidic properties of tomatoes help to unclog the pores. It is an amazing mask. Try it out. Number 14, cinnamon powder is a powerful remedy that not only removes blackheads, but prevents them as well. So mix a tablespoon of uh, cinnamon, a little bit of uh, lemon juice. You could even add a pinch of turmeric. So you're making like a, like a nice little paste. Apply it onto your face in the problem area, leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes and wash it off with warm water. Now remember, it will stain, so try not to use white towels. Cinnamon will tighten your pores and improve the blood circulation. Lemon juice has an antibacterial properties that fight any kind of acne. Turmeric has a healing property, so all three ingredients are amazing onto your face. To conclude, it is difficult to resist trying to pop those blackheads out yourself. However, you must resist and leave them alone if you're not willing to remove them correctly. So you need to do the steps that I mentioned before. The best treatment you can give it is prevention. You can use the few helpful tips and natural ingredients mentioned in this tutorial. Keep your skin clean and choose the right skincare products and devices for yourself. If all fails, you tried everything that I mentioned above and you see no improvements, make an appointment with your esthetician or dermatologist. Let me know below if you have any questions. If you have not subscribed yet and you found this uh, information interesting, please consider it. Give me a like, click the notification bell so you will not miss any of my educational tutorials. And check this tutorial coming up on how to protect your skin barrier. I hope you found this tutorial to be informative and helpful and walk away with simple and easy tips to improve the health of your skin. Remember to treat yourself with love and respect. Until the next time, take care.